Hi guys, welcome to Spirit Entrepreneur channel. Our aim here is to connect spirituality with entrepreneurship, as we believe it is important task for like-minded people. Today we will talk about history of Guccio Gucci, a humble man who created one of the most iconic fashion brands in history. So let us begin. Fact number one. Guccio Gucci was born in 1881 in Florence, Italy, to a family of small merchants. They were straw hats producers. The family business went bankrupt when Gucci was 17, causing the family to break up. Guccio was kicked out from home by his father. Then he jumped on a ship to London to create a new life. In London, he got a job at a luxurious Hotel Savoy that was the first in the world to have an electric elevator. Guccio started his work career from the bottom. First washing the dishes, then being a waiter. Finally, he ended up as an electric elevator operator. This position gave him opportunity to watch rich hotel guests who often traveled with elegant handbags and luggages. These were times of industrial revolution, rapid growth of railways, when rich people discovered traveling to be a new passion. This also meant that the luggage and luxury bags business began to develop. Fact number two, after saving money at work in London, Gucci returned to Florence. There he met Ida Cavelli, fell in love with her and started family. Initially in Florence, he worked in antique shop and later found a job in a specialized in selling and producing leather goods shop. Guccio quickly learned how to work with leather and soon he became the manager of the shop. He was asked by the owner to open new location in Rome, but his wife refused moving to Rome, so he ended up with traveling between Rome and Florence. Fact number three. Once, while walking with Ida around the market in Florence, they saw a small place to rent. Ida persuaded Guccio to rent the place and to start pursuing his life dream of starting his own shop. Guccio agreed, took all his life savings, borrowed additional money from a friend and opened his first store. Guccio started producing quality leather goods such as handbags and travel bags. At the beginning he was outsourcing the production, but after a while it became frustrating for him to be dependent on suppliers. So he decided to open his own leather workshop where not only he could produce goods, but also provide people with repairs. Fact number four. In early years of running a store and workshop, Guccio experienced constant financial difficulties. Some suppliers stopped giving him materials on credit and he had problems paying his bills by himself. Finally, his family and employees started noticing this. They said he looked like he had a death sentence in front of him. Then his future son-in-law, seeing this, lent him money for another month of shop activity. Fact number five. Gucci then hired a team of workers to manufacture his products, as some of them required 100 different parts and 10 hours to assemble one product. The business started to grow, but new problems arised. Italian government changed international trade policy and banned products from England which was main Gucci supplier. Gucci faced the fear of bankruptcy for a second time. He then made a difficult decision to start making new goods. At first it was only handbags and luggages, but he expanded it to other leather goods as wallets, shoes and belts. That was a time when he created his legendary moccasins with gold-plated clasps. Today these moccasins are one of Gucci's most iconic creations. During this time, his son Aldo started traveling the world and started to have bigger dreams. He saw that many people around the world were very interested in their products, so why should not deliver them? Fact number six. When he told his father about it, Guccio objected heavily. He said it was too risky to expand the business. Aldo, however, remained convicted that this was a great possibility and secretly asked a bank for a loan. After the loan was granted, Gucci finally accepted the idea. And Aldo opened second Gucci shop in Rome. Later, during the Second World War, this shop turned out to be salvation for Gucci family. 
as soldiers visiting Rome bought everything they could to send home to their mothers and girlfriends. Fact number seven, when the war ended, it was difficult to get any loans in Italy and maintaining a business in both shop were difficult. But the team started to come up with more and more new products, such as bamboo handle bag. In 1950s, Aldo opened Feld's store in Milan. During this time, Guccio's sons, Adolfo Rodolfo and his daughter Vasco went to a secret trip to New York. Not long time have passed and they opened their first Gucci store in New York. It was first Italian fashion shop in New York. Quickly it became favorite shop of celebrities and aristocrats, including Queen Elizabeth, Princess Grace, Jacqueline Kennedy, Sophie Loren, Elizabeth Taylor and Catherine Hepburn. Opening of New York store was the beginning of international development. Unfortunately, two weeks later, Gucci Gucci died. He got a heart attack while preparing to go to cinema with his wife Ida. Fact number eight, the company remained in the hands of Aldo and Rodolfo. Vasco, the daughter, whose husband saved the store from bankruptcy, received nothing. This might be the beginning of family war over the store shares that followed. Vasco fought in courts with her brothers, but she lost and received nothing. She died of a cancer, had no child and after her death, Aldo and Rodolfo divided the company between them by 50%. Aldo focused on the development of company internationally and Rodolfo managed a star in Milan. Gucci reputation grew among the elite. It got loud about the company because of the moccasins that Aldo advertised. For parts of society, these shoes were very strange. Everyone was wearing heels at the time. Those moccasins shocked the market and became very popular. Even Frank Sinatra himself owned a whole collection of moccasins from Gucci. Fact number nine. Over these years, Gucci grew, expanded its range of products with perfumes, watches, and finally became a widely known symbol of status among rich people. When company grew almost 25 times from its start, the war in the family began. Aldo gave 10% shares to his sons Giorgio, Paolo and Roberto. Rodolfo, on the other hand, refused to transfer shares to his son Maurizio. Giorgio secretly opened his own store using family name. Maurizio and Paolo stopped contributing completely to company. Paolo reported his father to tax office IRS for bypassing taxes. Fact number 10. When Rodolfo died, his son Mauricio, whom his father didn't want to give any shares to, became hungry to buy whole Gucci company. He went to search for investor funds to help him. There was one investment firm that was not known in the investment market who helped him and together they bought whole Gucci shares. Under Maurizio, Gucci began to collapse seriously, losing over 30 million per year. One day, Maurizio's body was found in front of an office building. It turned out that his ex-wife, Patrizia Ragiani, hired a paid assassin to murder Maurizio. Now the company has remained fully under the property of investment firm, and the Gucci family lost whole shares in it. Fact number 11. The company almost collapsed. The revival of the company turned out to be appearance of designer Tom Ford, who replaced Gucci outdated look with very fresh and courageous designs. All Hollywood felt in love with Gucci again. Tom Ford bold designs led Gucci to an income of over $1 billion per year, and today Gucci is worth $17 billion. Gucci is the fastest growing luxury brand, it is said to be the hottest one. Not only because of the history of scandals, but also because of equally bold designs. It is a story full of twists and events worthy of a good thriller movie. From a modest work of washing dishes at Savoy Hotel, Gucci Gucci created one of the largest luxury brands in the world. The greed and jealousy almost destroyed the company. However, the creative spirit of its founder has survived along with the company that is doing great these days. That's all for today guys, check out also these videos that we picked for you to learn about the history of other entrepreneurs and businesses 
The gems of wisdom are hidden in the stories. See you in the next movies. Hey.